for Life would like to thank all of our sponsors. Mountain View Guide Service. J3 Outdoors. Lennon's Lures. Wolf Creek Products. And PCS Outdoors. The Hague Spring Clip by J3 Outdoors. Simple, fast, efficient. It's here, the most innovative field dressing kit ever, developed by Raptor Razor. Its huge ergonomically designed hook on the Mako cuts quick with precision. The big game Skinner cuts through the toughest of places, saves you time in the field. Each kit comes with multiple blades, completely interchangeable. It's like no other knife made. For the full line of accessories, go to our website, www.raptorrazor.com. That's www.raptorrazor.com. Furlife proudly welcomes Kitchell's Lures and Scents. PCS Outdoors is America's best fishing, hunting, and trapping outlet, located in Oscoda, Michigan. They offer a full line of hunting, fishing, and trapping supplies, as well as tanned fur garments and products. PCS Outdoors carries an impressive line of hunting and trapping lures and scents, including Lennon's Lures. For all your hunting, fishing, and trapping needs, please check out PCSOutdoors.com. It's here, the most innovative field dressing kit ever, developed by Raptor Razor. Its huge ergonomically designed hook on the Mako cuts quick with precision. The big game Skinner cuts through the toughest of places, saves you time in the field. Each kit comes with multiple blades, completely interchangeable. It's like no other knife made. For the full line of accessories, go to our website, www.raptorrazor.com. That's www.raptorrazor.com. On this week's episode of Fur Life, host Brian Flowers visits Mark Schaefer of Ritter Critter Inc. trapping southern coyotes. Alright, here we are. We got a coyote here. This is the second day check on this one. Um, it's a bit quarry here. They're mining everything. It changes frequently. They move thousands of yards of dirt a day. But this pass through between these two ponds um, it is just like a natural travel way from, from one place to another. And it's funneled down right here. Um, maybe in a little bit the cameraman will pan over to his right. You'll see there's a lot of truck traffic over there. I could have set up a little bit further over here or behind the camera, but it was just a little bit too wide open. Uh, just want to be low profile. Uh, everybody doesn't know, have to know exactly what we're doing. He's out of sight of everybody. Um, we have another set. Uh, I believe it's right there. Uh, he chose this one. Uh, he came from behind the cameraman down this way. And this was a, uh, it just was a small uh, hole I punched in with some lure. And uh, like I said, second night catch, here he is. He's a young one, but catch is a catch. We're gonna, uh, we're trapping for the live market. So we're gonna put the news pole over him and stuff him in the box and uh, go see what else we got here. So. That's a nice catch, huh? Nice pad. Yeah. yeah, I use my feet to do it. I don't want to take a chance, so. I don't know if the cameraman's gonna re-angle. Got the box open. I just dump them in the box.
he got the noose all the way down on his hips. So, you're gonna have to fight him a little bit. There he goes. You'll see a lot of times, I mean, we're trapping here in South Carolina. They're very submissive. Once you get them in that box, I mean, they're done. Even once you just put that noose over his head, cinch down on it, they just kind of give up. We'll take him back at the end of the day. We'll transfer him, hopefully a few more, into another box. And one of the biggest problems is getting the, the cable over his head because they just put their head on the side of the box and they just won't move. They just freeze up there. But uh, sooner or, long, or later, he'll, he'll go along with the, pro, uh, the whole program we got. So uh, it's the live market right now. Coyotes are paying $75, and uh, we'll see how many more we got. You good? Okay, we just got done dispatching that coon. You can see the cat circle here. Uh, I'm going to put another set in right here, right on the outside of that cat circle. So. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up that well, but it's rained here for probably two weeks straight. Um, just rained every day. It's horrible conditions, but you do the best you can with it. So, I'm gonna anchor this one down to bridger number two. So now pretty much you're doing that one outside the cat circle? Yeah, the cat circle's right here. Because? A lot of times the coyotes will refuse to go in there. Um, the majority of the time they'll refuse to go in there. Um, but I mean, I have I've, caught yeah, them in I've, there. I've said it before too, and people took it the wrong way. Yeah. It's like, it's not every coyote will refuse that, but a lot of them will. Yeah, it's just, you're playing an odds game, you know. If you got one that goes in there out of 10, that are on the other side. Um, That's nine you missed. Yeah. Just try to put the odds in your favor. That's it. I just want a small trap bed just to fit the trap. No wobble on it. Sip some mud over it because that's about all we got. So now this one here is a big showy set. This one here. That has all the eye appeal. This is just going to be just a flat, a very blind. Yes, yeah, subtle. Um, pack this in good. Do the best you can with it. I don't use pan covers. People say it washes dirt underneath uh, your pan, but I mean, as you can see, like I said, it rained for two weeks straight. <coughs> There's never enough dirt and stuff that'll wash under if you tune your pans correctly. So here I'll just try to blend this in a little bit. Nothing too fancy. 
pine straw, you got to watch the no, big long needles, but I'm not going to use any of that material in the catch circle for here. So just going to do this. And what I'll do is I'll hit it with a little dab of gland lure right on this little stick here. And he'll come down here, you know, he's going to see that, he's going to smell this. If he, hopefully he's going to refuse to go in there. I mean, there's nothing in there now. But uh, we'll pick him up right here on the outside of that catch circle. That's about it. Sweet. All right, here we are. Um, we had a set right here. As you can see, we got a little gray fox. This is a nice corner here. Plus, there's a game trail cutting through next to a little beaver pond to the next uh, stand of pines and things like that. Um, the history of this place, I mean, we catch a gray fox at this location just about every year. Um, this is the fifth day check on him. Um, I don't know where he's been for five days. Gray fox are little home bodies. They have a small home uh, range but we've had a lot of rain too, um, a lot of rain. So make your sets the best you can. Um, our sets actually held up pretty good with all the rain that we had. Um, we had to touch up a few. Um, we do not use pan covers. I've never had a problem with enough dirt uh, washing underneath the pan where it, it don't fire. I mean, as you can see, this little guy is probably, what, six pounds? I set my pan tension one and a half to two pounds, and uh, we connect. So um, it's, a, it's a good area for bobcats, too, with these pines, and they, it's good hunting grounds. So uh, there's a housing development behind the camera. Oh, not, not more than 200 yards. Um, they love traveling these edges. As you can see, it's really the outside edge with the game trail going in through here. So you got to be patient. I mean, people that expect setting a trap, going out the next day and making catches, it does happen, but be patient. We have not re-lured this set in, in five days. I mean, a good lure, um, you're not going to need to, even with the rain that we had. I think probably in the five days, we probably had maybe an inch and a half of rain, maybe a little bit more, but a good lure will work and, and produce for you. So there it is. around the corner and uh, got a little coyote here uh, this set is about four days no this is a five day check here um, outside corner again uh, right where the camera is there's another set there <clears throat> we just came down the lane here we have another set up there about 200 yards um, we did uh, we did have uh, a visitor last night. We didn't catch him. It's hard to say if he's the same one, but uh, well, here he is. Looks like a juvenile, but uh, as we say around here, sometimes a catch is a catch. So this was a dirt hole set with uh, TKO number one from Ritter Critter and Nitro. Um, just a waiting game. Just sit, let your sets. Let them sit there, and uh, when they come around, these animals do not travel the same routes every night, you know. Coyotes, sometimes it'll be two weeks, but have confidence in your sets, and uh, let them work for you. So, we're going to uh, put him in the box, and we got plenty more sets to, uh, to check today, so hopefully he's the first of many.
right, here you can see we got another coyote. Um, wasn't about 10 minutes ago, we were on the other side of the road there. We caught a nice double. Um, here's a single. This actually was a little double dirt hole uh, with Nitro and Rockland's Revenge in the hole. Um, we weathered that set a little bit just to make it look a little old. Uh, it seems like that produces a little bit more on the coyotes so, um, when it's weathered. So um, we're going to put him in the box and we'll see. Uh, we've got a few more sets to check and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, as you can see, uh, we got a coyote here. This was a remake set. Um, we actually caught a coon in here two days ago, remade the set, um, and here he is. Uh, there's a lane that he was coming down right behind him, coming out this way. We're still on this track of land where that swamp is there. So they're going to get to this point, and then either they're going to make a left where the four-wheeler is, or they're going to make a right and try to hug that swamp. We do have another set um, about 20 feet in this way, but uh, he chose to come in this way. So here he is. He's a young one, not much to him, but uh, they want these coyotes out of here. They want to increase their deer population, and uh, we're trying to do the right thing for them. So if they're here, we'll catch them. All right, here, as you can see, we've got a double on reds. We set this up yesterday. Um, it was first night check. We, uh, the one on the right was a flat set with TKO number one and Rockland's Revenge. This little fella right here, uh, he was uh, on a dirt hole. It actually was a double dirt hole. It had last chance and nitro in the hole. Um, as you can see the lane here um, comes down there's a road there behind that silo and then another uh, woodlot back there so um, I'll just pan around this was just uh, an ideal location we have seen their tracks through here and we set up and this is what we got <laughs> 